journalist, an author, an advocate, and a parent, Miss April Ryan. I just don't know. Um, to all the elected officials, hello. To all of you, to all of you parents. What I will say, when I see, don't touch my camera, please. When I see, I do not have to. I don't down. have any covering my seat because I'm Don't very, you dare put that down, sir. That's my camera. I'm very. Uh, okay. I have a conversation with you all, and I want to see my camera. stay there. I want to. Yes. efforts to silence me in the briefing room. There have been efforts to discredit me. Um, but you know, who I've been and who I am is who you know. I, you know, I'm an open book. You know, I'm an open book. You know, I'm an open book. I mean, you talk about somebody that's a loser. She doesn't know what the hell she's doing. She gets publicity and then she gets a pay raise or she gets a contract with, I think, CNN. But she's very uh, nasty. And to be called a loser by the President of the United States, I think back about the First Amendment of the Constitution, freedom of the press. From 6.8 But it's lower than it was, guys. It's progress. It's still we should be excited about the fact that we are progress. making progress. But that things are better today than they were a year ago. That is something that we should be uh, excited about. That is something that we should be celebrating. It's not perfect. He didn't say it was perfect. He said we've made progress. He said things are better. Two and a half months in, you've got this year to story today. You've got other things going on. You've got Russia. You've got you got wiretapping, you got... No, we don't have that. You, 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 I don't know. On Capitol Hill. No, no, I, I get it, but you keep... I, I've said it from the day that I got here until whatever, that, that there is no connection. You've got Russia. If the president puts Russian salad dressing on his salad tonight, somehow that's a Russian connection. But every single person... No, I, and you, and well, no, that's, I appreciate your agenda here, but the reality is, oh, no, no, hold on. No, at some point, report the facts. The facts are that every single person who has been briefed on this subject has come away with the same conclusion. Republican, Democrat, so I'm sorry that that disgusts you. You're shaking your head. I appreciate it, but, but. The question is, does this administration believe, does this president believe slavery was wrong? And it's before you answer, Mary Frances Berry, historian, said, in 1860, there was a compromise. The compromise was to of southern states to keep slavery, but the Confederacy fired on Fort Sumter, something that caused the Civil War. And because of the Civil War, what happened? North one. I think like it is disgusting and absurd to suggest that anyone inside of this building would support slavery. Peter, today. Where's Sean? I'm sorry. Where is Sean? He's here today. <laughs> 